Hello and welcome to Unseen Universe. How you doing? I hope um, everyone's all right. I got something a little bit different for you this video. I have a rehousing video of a brand new thing here in the Unseen Universe bug room. That's right, something that is not a mantis. <gasps> I know what you're thinking, shock horror, but I do actually have other things in here besides praying mantises. Um, so, and I'm hoping to bring you a wider variety of things, you know, not just the old mantids. Obviously, I love the mantids and I love bringing you all those sorts of things. But, you know, I've got a few other things going on and I'm hoping to get a few other extra bits and pieces. Now I've started doing the videos, I want to bring you a wider variety of things. Um, showing you um, various invertebrates because um, let's face it you know I mean we all love all the different invertebrates right not just the mantids personally the praying mantis for me is obviously something that I've got the most experience in and it's something that I've kept the most of over the years but um, I also have always kept a few other bits and pieces you know so um, yeah I'm hoping to uh, just explore a, a wider variety of things so beginning with the heteropoda david bowie that's right the infamous huntsman spider that i think it was discovered in well i said infamous i don't think it's infamous it's just an awesome spider right so um, as are all the huntsmans and just a little peek secret i am actually going to be getting a few more huntsmans over the next few months so Stay tuned in for those little bad boys, but for now, I have got my hands on the David Bowie Huntsman. And not only that, um, I've got two, three of them. Two sub-adult females and one adult female. Now, if you've seen these before, you're going to know how awesome and beautiful they really are. They've just got the so, so, oh, they're so sublime. They've got a lot of really furry, little fur I mean most spiders are a little bit furry but some are more spiky than furry. But these are just like furry little cute little spiders. Well I say cute little, they're cute but they're not so little. I suppose, you know, ranging from 8 to 9, 10 kind of centimetres total uh, leg span. Um, but anyway. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to do a rehousing video. So I got these from um, a mate of mine, Kane Air, from um, Dark Space Exotics. Find him on Facebook. Top guy. Really, um, I'm stuff. really excited to show you these. Um, they are absolutely beautiful, as I think I've expressed probably... Well, no, I'm not going to say overly so... I've just expressed how I feel about them really and I absolutely am in love with them. I mean I've seen photos of these guys and I've always thought, I've, they've been on my hit list for quite a while now, um, but to actually see them up close in person and you know, oh they are just so beautiful. I don't, I, just, I keep going on about it don't I? I'm just going to have to show you. So what we've got here for you is um, basically they arrived today, I needed to rehouse them. I've only gonna I've put them in some temporary digs for now. Um, so this video is basically just me um, rehousing them into some temporary accommodation. They're probably gonna stay there for a little while. I'm in the midst of sorting some stuff out, which I'm gonna talk about in another video. Um, I'm creating a bit more space. I want to focus a little bit more on a few other things other than mantids, like I've just said. So I'll bring you information on that later on. But for now, this is just the rehousing um, of the uh, David Bowie Huntsman Spider. I hope you enjoy. See you later. So, hi. Uh, so, what we have here is a uh, temporary housing of my latest acquisition. The uh, Heteropoda David Bowie Huntsman Spider. Named after, obviously, the late, great David Bowie. So... I've acquired three of these. They are the two sub adult females. You can see, just about to see her in there. Look. Uh, so they're the two subs. And then we've got the adult and rather more fluffy 
Um, adult female, she's in there, look. Can, can't really see her properly, but anyway, we'll get them out in yeah, a bit. I just need to set up these rehousing. So anyway, these came from Kane Air, a buddy of mine from uh, Dark Space Exotics. See if we can see his card there, look. Du, du, du. So, there we have it. So, um, he was after some money for ham, so I obliged by taking off him three of his huntsmen's. Um, so, let's get cracking, shall we? So, first things first, we're going to add some substrate. So, just going to add some standard cocoa soil to this bad boy. Just the usual stuff. And I'm going to add about an inch to two inches of substrate in the bottom of here. So it's a little bit moist, it's not wet, it's not, it doesn't need to be, I'm no expert on huntsman spiders at all, so I've spoken to Kane and he's recommended that it be relatively dry but a little bit moist at the same time, so I think this is just right, it's got a little bit of moisture to it, um, so we'll see how we get on with that. That's it. Right, there we have it. Three. Three enclosures. Here we go. Right, now what we want is we want some a bit of moss on there. Some sphagnum moss. Gonna put a bit of that on top. Just a layer of that bad boy. I'm not entirely sure exactly how much you're supposed to use. Like I say, I'm no expert. But, can it, can it. There we have it, a bit more on that one, that's it, sorted, that's that. Right, now, just a little bit of bark, there we go look, just a couple of pieces, just put them in there, just a little bit of a hide. I don't think that piece is very good actually. I might get another piece. So, there we have it. There we go. Just a piece of bark there, look. Cork bark. Just as a little bit of a hide. Right. Now a little bit of um, something else for them to hide. A bit of fake plantage. That'll do. Don't know what it is, I think it's just some kind of generic cheese plant leaf. But anyway, it's nice and big. Put that in as well, that'll give them a, something somewhere else to hide. So that'll be quite nice. I think, because these are just temporary digs for now. As soon as I get a, a nice, some nicer enclosures sorted out, I'll um, I'll probably plant a real plant in there of some kind. I think. Let's just move that a little bit. That's it, nice one, there we go. So, we've got some plantage, we've got some, some moss, cocoa fiber. There we have it, look, that's nice. Cocoa fiber, some moss, fake plant, and some cork bark. Just some little hidey holes, you know, that's what they like. Right. Just add the stoppers to the little holes here. 
So they're useful just for uh, popping prey in there. If you want, if you don't want to take the lid off for whatever reason, and you want to get something in there, you can just take the bung out, pop a cricket in there or something. Sorted. Right, here we go. This is the good stuff. Time to get these bad boys out. Woohoo! I'm quite nervous. Uh, these are fast. These are fast. So um, I'm going to try and be extra careful. <laughs> right then. Get the lid ready. Now, oh, will she run? she is Ugh. look at that well she's not looking like she wants to run so let's just put the lid on let her just settle in a second oh she went for a little bit of a run then let's see if we can just get in there a little bit let's turn that round <laughs> there she is look There she is. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Can't really see her properly because obviously I didn't know whether she was going to run or what she was going to do. Anyway, she, this is the adult. She's in. Let's see if we can just turn it over slightly. You can just about see her there, look. Can't really get a good look at her. This is why I wanted a better housing. There she is, look. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. Gonna get some, um, I'll get some proper footage of her at some point. Just until she gets used to this place, I'm just gonna Just look at her. Let's see if I can get this camera sorted. There she is, look. Oh my god. She is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, she's so beautiful. There she is, look. The light's not so good at the moment. I'll, I'll get some better footage of her later. There she is. Oh, how beautiful is she? My God, look at the orange. Oh. Well, she's been very, very well behaved. I'm so impressed. I didn't, I, I'll be honest, I didn't have a clue what to expect. I didn't know whether she was going to just run, be a bit skittish, but she's just very calm. Very relaxed. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. She's, look, she's going she's gonna to run, she's going to hide in a minute. Oh no, no, she's, oh look at her. She's coming to say hello, look at her face. 
All right, she's 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 hiding. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. It's a new home. She needs to settle in. She's in there somewhere. She's gone now. Right, I'm going to leave her alone. Let's rehouse the others, shall we? Oh, amazing. Right, let's do the other one. I'm hoping that because these are older, so these, this one and the next one I'm going to do, they're both sub-adults, so I've no idea if they'll be just as skittish, I mean more skittish or what, so... Um, I mean, the adult, she was just absolutely chilled. So, let's, fingers crossed, these will be the same. There she is, look. Can you see her? Yeah, I need to get some better light in when I'm doing stuff like this. Let's just see if we can just... See if we can entice her out. Oop. Go on, that's it. There you go. She's out. She's out. She's there, look. So you can see. Not quite as big as the other one. So she's sub adult. There you can see her look. Just on the side. See if we can get a better look. Oh, just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at that. She's beautiful. My God. <laughs> oh, man. Just so delicate and gorgeous. Oh, God. All right, she's going to hide. I'm going to leave her to it. Oh, God, I love them. I love them so much. Let's put her away. Right, two down. Two down, one to go. Going well so so far, Kane. Whoa! I'm so excited. Tidy up a bit. Right, got this last one to do now. Let's just pull back a bit, shall we? Right, this last one to do. Oh man. Just... Here we go. Last one. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that this one goes just as well. Let's get the lid off. Let's get that out. Whoa, there she is, look. Not quite as not quite as yellow as, as orange as the other one. Still beautiful though. Right, let's see if we can entice her out, shall we? Whoa, 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 whoa. To be honest, this is a <laughs> That lightning speed is what I was expecting with the last one. There we are, straight in. Boom. It's like she knew exactly what I wanted her to do. <laughs> oh, just like lightning. There she is, look. Number two. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. I'm so in love with these. I knew I would be when I saw pictures of them. Like when they were first discovered some years ago. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look at her. Oh 
God, beautiful. Right, I'm just going to leave them alone, I think, because it's been a stressful trip. They've been in the post overnight. They've come here and I've started poking around with them, so I'm going to leave them to it. I know these digs are a bit small, but I think I'm going to upgrade them to a slightly bigger enclosure, I think. Anyway, I'm going to get some close, some better video footage soon. But look at it. Just absolutely amazing. Just having a good look round look. Isn't that far? Right, I'm going to leave it to it. Let her chill out for a bit. Right, that's it then. All three, done. That was relatively painless, wasn't it? So, there we have it. All three, done. I'm so pleased that went really well. <laughs> that could have been, uh, yeah. Last thing I wanted to do was to have to start moving furniture around, trying to find a spider that basically, if the missus knew I had, she'd absolutely kill me. But anyway. Um, right, I'm going to leave these be for a bit, and then I'm going to give them some food. I might take a video of them having a feed later. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, nice one. Thanks again, Kane. Cheers, mate. And if you didn't catch it before, Kane Air. There you go. Dark Space Exotics. Captive bred insects and reptiles. Theopropus117 at gmail.com. Check out his Facebook page, Dark Space Exotics. Top bloke. Quality stuff. I mean, look at these guys. That's the kind of thing he does, man. So, there you go. Right. Nice one. I'm off. See you later, folks. Oh my god. They are amazing. They really are. They're just fantastic. Seriously, man. I knew I was going to enjoy them, but just seeing them up close like that, they were just beautiful. There was a brief moment in that third sub-adult when it like, kind of jerked and I wasn't sure if it was going to bolt or not. Ah, whoo! I was thinking, oh, but um, yeah, because my worst nightmare was that they were just going to bolt. Because I, all I kept reading about before I had them was that they were just like lightning. They were like teleporting really quick. And I was just really worried that they were just going to like dart off. And I was going to be like, ah, moving stuff around, pulling shelving units out, trying to find the spiders. Oh, God, I really didn't need that in my life. But anyway... Turns out they went straight into their enclosures, no problems whatsoever. So I'm really, really happy about that. So in the future, uh, in the not so distant future, I'm going to bring you some feeding videos of those because I just can't wait to see them again. Oh, they are just so beautiful. Oh, the colours, the orange and yellows, and oh, just, oh the oh, God, the fur. Ah, oh, they're just so beautiful. So um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to quickly get some more videos made of those because I really want to see them up close with the macro lens and everything. Get So really get, get in, see their little faces. Oh, you know, I mean, do they look like David Bowie? Let's find out, shall we? Let's get right down into it, you know? Maybe the spirit of David Bowie is in there with them, you know? <sighs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Okay, that's enough of that. Maybe that's for a different channel, or even another planet, who knows. Mars, maybe? <laughs> anyway, um, right then, so, I think that's it. Let's see some macro shots.
Oh my god! He's just so beautiful! Alright. I'm definitely going to have to revisit this. <sighs> they are amazing. Do I say amazing too many times? I don't think you can, can you? I don't think you can say amazing or awesome too many times when you're describing something that is so amazing and awesome. No. No, you can't. So that's it. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in guys and um, I hope you really enjoyed it as much as I did. I am definitely going to bring you more videos of those bad boys as soon as possible. Obviously we've got a hundred other things, well thousands of other things to show you in here. But um, for now I'm just overly excited about those. They are just so awesome. Bye.